to Orange Creamsicle Island. Hello, people who are not me, but who may or may not be better than us at this game. Uh, Hello, people who are unaware of us. You're watching us now. <laughs> yes, we are. Please don't leave. Gaming haters. <laughs> Stay with us, our one subscri our three subscribers. <laughs> so far. <laughs> no, the tornado's gone. Ah, uh, this guy. Oh, uh, which one is... It's so hard to beat him. I know, which is why I was pissed. I kind of need that... I the kinda hammer need... or the sword. I kind of needed that tornado, because I could still hit him with tornado, but... I don't know, is it worth fighting that guy? I think he opens something or does something. Give you, like, back... He gives you backdrop, I know that, but... I think if, that... after you beat him, it opens a door to the secret, but I, I could be wrong. Yeah. I, I wouldn't bother with him right now. Yeah, I mean, if I had Tornado, I'd fight him, but I lost it. Oops. It's all good. Can you use Tornado in the water? No. Well, then you would need a hammer or a sword. No, but I mean, I could float and then, like, dash into him. Like, oh, I yeah. I can't physically use it when I'm underwater, but right. I can still use it when I'm in the air. I see what you're saying. That's the thing. This is this is where the game starts going. Oh, you! This is where the game starts using water physics, and like pretty much every video game ever, water physics suck. <laughs> I don't know and why. Wind physics. <laughs> wind physics you can deal with a lot easier than water. I don't know why water physics are like. I don't know what why the cardinal rule for water physics in video games is. You move super slow. Like, I mean, you do move slow in water. But not that slow. I mean... Or it's like, I mean, it's either that or like with Mega Man, like when you're underwater you jump four times as high as when you're on, when you're not. It's like, how does a robot made out of titanium get like four times the buoyancy when he's underwater? <laughs> like, I don't know, because he's got, maybe he's got thrusters or like, maybe he's built then, like a submarine. <laughs> yeah, but then if he's not in water, he should be able to jump that high normally, you know? Oh, man. Like, I can understand, like, if you're in space, like in Mega Man 5, when you're in Starman stage, you're in space, you jump high there, but underwater, you should, if anything, if anything... Oh, that's cool, like it's low gravity or something? Yeah. Nice. If, if we ever get to playing Mega Man 5, which I'm sure we will at some point, <laughs> whether it's on this channel or when I get, or when I get... Um, or when I finally get my capture card in and I start recording. Yeah. Which, by the way, I don't remember if I said this in the last part, but if I did, and if I did, I'm repeating myself, but... I don't believe you did. I mean, you can go ahead. <laughs> People who are subscribed to me, Sire Goku. Oh my god, and they even got the... Speaking of going in space, what up? People who are subscribed to me, Sire Goku. I bought a pin... I bought a Dazzle yesterday. Um, oh, yeah. October, 20... October 28th. I bought the, a dazzle at 2:53 p.m. I don't remember what time. <laughs> the exact just, date. I don't remember the, what time it was, but I ordered it. But I ordered it. No, <laughs> you on not. a computer. <laughs> I on a website. Shut up. <laughs> I ordered a dazzle, so I finally have. So I'm finally gonna have a capture card. So, like I said at the end of Chrono Trigger, I will be recording new. I will be starting up Let's Plays again soon with new. With this style quality, and hopefully... Hey, we're friends. Yeah, uh, you gotta take a hit, man. Bounce, bounce, bounce. <laughs> With this style of quality, and hopefully audio as well, and that Scarfy just killed you. That was some back wave, or backlash. <laughs> Are you out of touch with Kirby? <laughs> I'm just having... Ow. No, I'm just not thinking straight. Yeah. I understand. No, this is the thing that comes with practice, talking and playing games at the same time, like... No, I can do it. Oh, I'm not saying you can't, but it's just like... I know a lot of people just can't, and they just it's get a lot so more... frustrated when you try to talk to them. <laughs> it's a lot more distracting than you think it is. That's why. That's what I mean. Like, once you get... Once you're used to doing... I guess it vocal... depends on what you're doing. Like, if I'm or in a you... really intense, like, battle, or if I'm, like, trying to figure out some puzzle or something... Yeah, I can understand that. But I mean, that's one of the things, like, this is, like, a lot of people were on, Get over on my old channel were saying, like, you should play this, this, and this. Like, you play a lot of RPGs. I'm like, the reason why I play a lot of RPGs is, one, they're games that I, that I like to play, and two, with RPGs, you don't have to pay that much attention to the gameplay, so you're free to talk. With action games like this... Yes. 
Give me something good. Yeah. I think it's designed to Boom. always. I think it's designed to always give you hammer there. <laughs> yeah, I hope. <laughs> but anyway, like uh, with RPGs, you don't have to. You don't really have to pay that much attention. With an action game like Kirby, you have to you have to anticipate what's coming up and actually do things. Because if all I'm having to do is cycle through menus, then it's pretty a ba it's pretty basic game though. Yeah, but in like, there's a difference between cycling through menus and actually like running to the right and shooting things or hitting things as yeah. it were. Yeah. I guess it's kind of like that in Fallout a little bit, because like you're in the midst of battle and like people are shooting at you, but then you like you gotta open your uh, your pit boy and get your healing items. Yeah, but I mean like if you're a uh, or like if or you're like just any RPG, or game. like if you're just wandering around on the world map with there's nothing else to yeah, like, you don't have to really pay attention to where you're going, so you have plenty of free time to talk. Yeah. With this game, there's always something in front of you that you have to deal with. Bro. Oh no, I want it. Ah, oh, the UFO! So Give me that. Ah, go. No! He didn't go away yet. No! He didn't go away yet. He's right there. <laughs> it's like, get back UFO, here! UFO! The best power in the game. That we've already lot, mentioned. To a lot of people. Actually, I think it is. It probably is. I think it is. It, being Three weapons in one. Laser and beam and charge beam. Laser, beam, and Mega Man charge shot. <laughs> Padukin! 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 <laughs> Come here! Man, man! <laughs> nah, There's like all these different names for it beams. It can't be a command man. It's, t it's firing no! too fast. It's gone, dude. No! It's gone! No! I told you! <laughs> God damn, it's that's fast. The, no, and that's the problem with... The, that's the problem with this game, is one hit makes you lose your power. I so know, no and then the star is, like, having a seizure, like, <laughs> <laughs> At least in, like, Nightmare in Dreamland, you actually had time to get it back. Man, <laughs> I tried holding it. Maybe I have to press it sooner than that. I I press it, like, right when it's at the bottom, and this then is, hold it. I think this is the most frustrating stage to get the secret on. Yeah, especially since this, yeah... It's a. I, it's, I, I always forget. Like I played through this game maybe like three or four times, but I always forget where the secret is in this level. I know, it's because it's like it's really hidden. It's out of the way. Like you'd think all you have to do is like use a hammer or and, something and go through a door. So, but you gotta so, like go. I don't remember what you have to do. You have to go underneath the ship. But then you need something. You need to like go underneath the ship, and there's like a window that you can go in. That's nearly impossible to see because, well, I mean, not impossible, you can see it, but you have to be really looking for it, like you said. Yeah, you have to, like, go all around. Because it's hidden, like, underneath the waves. But then I think you also need a hammer or something to get through it. I don't know if it's a hammer or well, some other item. It's gotta be hammer, because otherwise bonkers wouldn't be right here. <laughs> Hammer's, like, Hammer's used for, like, opening most of the secrets in this game. I think it's used for opening every secret in this game. Sometimes stone can be used. I'm just wondering, like, if it's right at the beginning of the stage, you know? Mm, I don't know. I don't remember. <sighs> I wish I remembered. Maybe that's it. No, that wasn't it. Is it? If Is you go it? that way? Yeah, if you go that way. way. That's, gotta, that's gotta be it. I know, and then there's, like, something special you have to do. You have to, like, flood this area over here. No, we you gotta go the other way. You can't flood anything. Yeah, watch. We'll go over here. I hit the bomb. You flooded it. And then this is supposed to do something. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you're saying. <laughs> See, I don't know where the secret is. But I mean, I don't know if that does something in a previ in the previous room, or if it or does something in, in the next room. room. Yeah. Let me try going back. I might take a little bit of extra time. Can you on go this through those windows up there? Not those windows, but the ones by Poppy Bro. Maybe. Pop it back. <laughs> there, we there we go again. Yeah, it's okay. Get through that window. Get your fat ass through that window. That fake orangey square window. I don't remember. I don't. Wait. I think I did. Go back. Okay. Go. Yeah. Past the poppy bros. Go past them up. Hit them. Yeah. <laughs> then keep going. Knock the knock the wind block. Then go above it and around it. I think there might be something over here. No, not there. 
Uh, not there either. Why did they let you go over here if there's nothing? I'm positive you need to use the hammer for something. I don't remember. I don't want to have to look it up, because that would be cheating. <laughs> ah, fuck it. We didn't okay, get every just... secret anyway, so... Yeah, we'll, yeah, we said we'll show we were... how to do it later. Yeah, see, I... Maybe it's up... No. I really can't remember. Or it's those windows I think you can go through. Yeah, but I have to... Oh, okay. Yeah, like, see, go in the window up there. Yeah. Well, you got the one up, at least. But that's not where the secret is. Oh, another one up! <laughs> Alright, well... I don't think there's anything more to that. Yeah, you gotta go under the ship at this part, I think. I knew there was something about going underneath the ship, but I don't remember how to get down there. Oh, where you go. Just don't lose that hammer. Yeah, you go over there, and you go under there. See, this is how my old commentary. Right, uh, this is how my old commentary was. Go here, do this, do that. Yeah, you know dole that at this. Go in the water. It's not. It's go not an. It's into not an elevator. The water. <laughs> okay, apparently uh, Doctor Claw is here now. <laughs> no, I'm. I'm. Uh, I'm. Uh, or death Nathan block. Explosion. Death block. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. I'm Pickles, the drummer. I'm Pickles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from Wisconsin. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is going on in here? Is that it? Was, yeah, but there's a door. Like, you gotta get into that door somehow. And there's the flame power up, and you can't use the flame underwater. I'm really confused at this part. Just get through the level. That's what I'm trying to do. This level's a giant fucking maze. Oh, you go up. Oh, get out of there. Yeah, this level's a giant maze. Go there, and now go there. There we go. <laughs> go inside. The go in the square. <laughs> now, now go over that bar the square. <laughs> Watch out for the little people. You gotta drink your water. <laughs> that, that that little guy was suicidal. Like I don't want to live. He here was waddle doodle suicidal. <laughs> <laughs> and after wasting about five minutes trying to figure out this stool, <laughs> after wasting like three minutes trying to figure out that stupid secret, let's just finish the damn stage. I'm done with this. Smash. Mouth. Brothers. Hey now, I'm an all-star. Get your game on. No. Ah, screw it. Alright, fine, don't get your game on. <laughs> I'm getting my game on after you. Eat them coconuts. Okay. Nothing. Yeah, that's right, nothing. Yes! Oh yeah, make your way up there. You gotta do something to make up for that. <laughs> In space, nobody can see you dance. Except for DDD. Because he's got binoculars. <laughs> Not binoculars, but he has a telescope. Alrighty. <laughs> that was go, go, annoying. Go, 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 go. Let's do some... Let's, let's try and make this stage a little more interesting and less oh, oh, oh. backtracky. Uh, ah, ball. Balls. <laughs> balls. <laughs> balls. Balls. More balls. <laughs> Okay. Uh, they, these guys are keeping this place pretty nice and tidy. Yeah. You're fired. Kill them. You're fired. <laughs> I like to fire my employees. <laughs> I'm not gonna get into politics right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to start a huge debate here. This isn't about politics. Speaking of debates, what about that? Ugh, shut up, me. <laughs> yeah, what about that? Uh... No. There's an albino Namekian standing behind you. Kill it like the rest. <laughs> oh wait, you've never seen Dragon Ball Z abridged, so you wouldn't know what I'm quoting. No, I haven't. What's uh, that? What is that about? You know the abridged series like Yu-Gi-Oh abridged. I think I've heard of that. What is that? Just like link different series together? No, it's like people that dub over animes and with. Like their own lines and shit. Oh, huh. It's actually pretty hilarious. I have to check that out. Oh, I saw this one online where this guy does ones for One Piece. None Piece. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's purpleized WTF. <laughs> yeah, I saw that. It was hilarious. Yeah, that's kind of what. <laughs> 
That sounds like some fine cuisine! <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen One Piece in ever. Eh, it was a decent show, I just never got into it. <laughs> Kurt is like, it. enough talking about freaking One Piece, damn it! Set Play. sail for One Piece. It's the name of the treasure in the grand line. Damn you four kids and your retarded <laughs> rap intros! Gotta go, gotta go. It's, it's a so, sale for one piece. It's so bad. So bad. Now, oh man, now we're gonna get flamed for making fun of four kids that doesn't exist anymore, thank God. <laughs> Nobody likes them. <laughs> hey, two times yeah. in a row. Two times in a row, man. Awesome. It's so easy to get one-ups in this game. And why do we only have 13? You know what I think is annoying? In um, the new Super Mario Bros. 3D, I saw that like in the second world, there's a trick to get infinite one-ups. Like every Mar every Mario game has that kind of a glitch. Not really infinite one-ups. Like there's sometimes you get a bunch of them, but not like infinite. <laughs> the very first game has when is a there one a has an infinite one-up glitch by jumping on a Koopa shell on the staircase over and over again. In, in the original NES Mario Brothers. Yes. It's like World 2-2 or something. It's just really freaking hard to do. It is. Every Mario but game... But in, the, in the, the newer one, though, it seems like it's so well, yeah, easy. Yeah, in the newer games, they make it a lot easier to do, but it's... Mario has always Or it's had, more obvious than the Mario has ones. always had the abilities to gain infinite one-ups. You just have to know how to do it. Maybe people just know how to find secrets in Mario better than I do. Or something. Like like the wizard. The with Fred Savage. Wizard. You know that movie? Of course I do. Yeah. Oh god. But you know how like they play Super Mario Brothers 3? I love the power glove. <laughs> it's so bad. It's like, oh wait, what's that guy's name? <laughs> what, what was that kid's name? Do you remember? I don't remember. I never actually saw the movie. I just remember it's like, oh that that's bad. You know what's bad? It's just like I own all 90 Nintendo games. It's like there's there's like 300, 400, 5. I don't even like, know how at many. At the time, there was like 90, maybe. No, I think at the time there was even way more than that. I don't know. That movie was terrible. <laughs> that movie was... No, I'm just saying like how when they play Super Mario Brothers 3, they already know all the secrets. The whistle, like... Yeah, and like that movie is supposed to be come out like... The like same month that the yeah, game it came, came yeah, out. Yeah, it came out like that was pretty much the trailer for it. Like you had to go see that movie to know what the new Super Mario Brothers is going to look like. I know, and they're like, it's like do you want to see the new Super like, Mario Brothers? Watch this movie. Like AVGN already made fun of that. Like, how does he know how to get the, the warp whistle? <laughs> yeah, kids got to sit through like this depressing ass movie. <laughs> hey, I actually did the secret. Usually, I'm All really right. usually I'm really bad at that. <laughs> I know, I hate those cannons. Hey, it's the cowboy At shooter, least in the man. next one, there's only two secrets. The, yeah. On the first level and the last one. Yep. Do it. Launching Kirby into space. Oh, I'm in Mission unsuccessful. Oh. You got, like, party balloons in the He's background? He's gonna do, like, uh, that... How, what that uh, what's that guy's name It just jumped from orbit? You know what I'm talking about? Huh? And didn't you hear about how Red Bull sponsored a guy oh, that to jump he, like, from the stratosphere? Yeah, he, like, skydived from space. Yeah. And didn't die. Yeah, because he was wearing a pressure suit. It's been done before. It's he was trying to beat a record. It was freaking ridiculous. And he did. No, actually, the, they thought he did. And I've read the reports, and I guess... He did break some records. Like, he broke the speed of, like, re-entry. Ah, oh, damn it. <laughs> That's what happens when you're talking and you know... Yeah, but he also broke the record for break... He was the first human ever to break the sound barrier with his own body. <laughs> uh, yeah, I remember. That's crazy. You break the sound barrier with your... Just by falling with Wouldn't the, that make you go deaf? I don't know. I want to see, like, I wanna see if there's an interview with him. No, you're creating a sonic boom with your own body. Shouldn't that make you go deaf? I don't... Oh, well, obviously... Well, you're wearing a special suit with the helmet that's pressurized to make it so, like... I guess... But I'm just thinking, like, a sonic boom would make you go deaf. <laughs> Probably if he didn't have his helmet on. <laughs> I have... Wait. Oh, There's you... something over here. Is this... Is there? Oh, yeah, yeah there is. Somehow ah, damn it! Not... You need the hammer. Or fire. No, fire doesn't work. Fire doesn't melt ice. But what... that's not ice, it's a what block. What the fuck? 
It is a white block. It is a blue block. That is ice in NES standards. Get your ass over here. Except for that UFO that's white and... It's a red UFO. No, it's blue. Well, the enemies are... Kirby's a red one. Damn it. Get out of pink. my face. Get out of my face. But it's so cute. They are cute. They're, everything, they're adorable. But I don't know why. Like, ev they're, everything they're trying in to this kill game, me. Everything in this game, aside from the final boss, is adorable. I don't understand it. <laughs> Maybe some people find him adorable. What a nightmare? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> why not? Like, that nose, man! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> they like changed him in the Game Boy Advance version. Didn't they? No, he looks. Si he looks. I could the, swear they changed looks pretty him a much little the same. bit. He looks bigger, maybe because the Game Boy Advance screen. Oh is man, small. I want to mention like um, I didn't know this, but in Kirby Superstar, that like totem-looking thing with the hands—that's the same exact movements as Master Hand. Like he does like the little gun with his hand yeah, and he smacks it on the ground. Oh, you mean the twin cannons? Like how he made that sound effect? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what he's called. Is it's twin cannon? But is that what he's called? Yeah, it's that twin little. Cannon. But it uh, makes sense though like because that, uh, it makes sense though because like that African-looking idol with the giant hands. <laughs> that's what it's called. I'm not being racist. I'm saying no. Like, I know an what you're talking form. about. I know what you're talking about. I'm talking about like art. Like oh, you tribal mean or, art. or you mean like the giant like lemming thing with the stone hands? No, it's just a face in the background, and it's two hands, and then they like they do like the different. Yeah, that's the wham bam rock. Thing. Oh, that's what he's called. That thing, yeah. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's pretty much master hand. It is like, to a T. It is, but that's because, you know, but that's because you know the same guy that did Kirby also did. Oh, you fucked me tonight. I'm gonna kill all your guys in like one hit. <laughs> you know that the reason why that is is because the same guy that did Kirby is the guy that I know. Did, he seems to reuse his boss fights a lot. No, and that's why people were saying Sakurai... Well, not Sakurai, he's the composer, but... It's no, a, Sakurai. It's good music in that Sakur No, it is Sakurai. Because Sakurabi was the other guy. I always get those two confused. The I'm gonna sock it right back at you. <laughs> the, the composer that does like, that did like Golden Sun and all the Tales of Games was Sakurabi. It was Sakurabi. And then there's... And there's... There's Wait, soccer. the same guy that did Tales of Symphonia did uh, Golden Sun. Yes. Oh, I didn't know that. And, um... Well, no, the, the, well, the, compo yeah, the composer. Yeah, I know, the, the composer. The same it's composer that did Tales also did Golden Sun and Star Ocean and all those, and Valkyrie Profile and those kinds of games. Boom. But anyway, okay. see, I always get those two confused, because there's Sakurai, which is the director, and Sakurabi, that's the composer. <laughs> Isn't there a Naruto character named Sakura? Yes, <laughs> and she sucks. She's terrible. Okay, are turn? you ready to Four. go up against Four. Mexican Meta Knight? Ugh. Get it! <laughs> Pick it. it up! Touch it. Touch it. <laughs> Smell Touch it. Touch it. <laughs> Smell it. <laughs> I will this is the only boss where you can only use sword. Well, I guess you can try and fight him without the sword. You can. not Can you get rid of it? Try. I no way in hell am I gonna try to get rid of it! I know you can in... Superstar. Well, see, he hits you, but you don't lose you it. I know you can in Superstar, but... Yeah, this is like forcing you to use the that sword. That Moon's having a good time watching you fight. I know, he seems way too happy. I'm like, oh, I hope... It's like, oh man, mass genocide right in front of me. It's so great. It's not genocide. That's, that's oh, just a Oh battle. god, it's a dark Kirby! If it was mass genocide, it'd be like... <laughs> it'd be like killing all the people in Kirk Dreamland. Man, yeah, King DDD, like if he was a King fjord. <laughs> <laughs> I know, <laughs> like, man. The, the socialist party of Rain Dreamland. <laughs> rainbow Resort, fuck me. Finally. Yeah. Yeah. Oh god, even the rainbow doesn't like Kirby's singing. Fuck you, but Kirby. Next time, Rainbow Resort. I mean, Road, I mean, Sherbert. Sherbert. Final world. Done. <laughs> Game and taters.